In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to set up your MIDI devices and how to record them into Cubase. You may have a MIDI keyboard that is playing back MIDI data from Cubase, and you want the data recorded as audio for further processing for the final mix. Learning to use the right tools will make these steps easy. External instruments means that you can have a MIDI keyboard's audio outputs plugged directly into your audio card's inputs so that Cubase can monitor and record the signal in real time. First, let's set up the MIDI devices that you have attached to your computer. Start off by going to the MIDI Device Manager found under the Devices menu. Next, click on Install Device so we can add the K2000. Find it in the list and then click OK. You may have another keyboard other than the K2000 in this list. Feel free to select it now. We can then add a MIDI output to the K2000. Select it in the Output pull-down menu. Close the MIDI Device Manager when you are done. MIDI devices contain all the necessary information to select patches on the MIDI device that you are using. Make sure you see the MIDI Device Manager in the Operation Manual for more detailed information. We are now going to set our inputs so that we can listen to the audio output of our keyboard play into the Steinberg MI4 audio inputs. Choose VST Connections from the Devices menu. The key command for VST Connections is F4. Click on the External Instruments tab. Click on Add External Instrument and type in K2000 into the name field. We want the audio from the K2000 to be in stereo. Choose one for stereo returns since the K2000 has a left and right output. We have made a MIDI device earlier, so let's click on Associate MIDI Device and choose the K2000. Click OK to close the Add External Instrument window. Make sure that you select the correct inputs and outputs for your new external instrument bus. Close the VST Connections window and select the Loop 2 track. Add a new instrument track from the Add Track pull-down menu found under the Project menu. For configuration, choose the external instrument that we created. In our case, it's the K2000. For count, choose 1. Click OK to close the window. Now let's monitor our external instrument. Press the Record Enable and Monitor buttons on the K2000 track. Play some notes on the actual K2000 keyboard. Let's rename the track K2000 to Piano, since it's a piano that we'll be recording on this track. This doesn't rename the external instrument name in the VSD Connections window, it's just the renaming of this track in the project page. Remember that we created a MIDI device in the MIDI Device Manager window. MIDI devices contain valuable information about patch names, bank selections, and a few other things. This helps us in that we already have all the program names for the K2000 at our disposal. Click on the Programs button in the inspector and choose the Stereo Grand Piano Sound. If your MIDI device is different from the one in this tutorial, choose a piano sound from your device. That's it. We are now monitoring and playing our external instruments. You can add effects and EQ to our external instrument, just like a virtual instrument or an audio track. We'll do this on our next tutorial. For now, let's record some MIDI. Turn on the Record, Enable, and Monitor buttons on the piano track if they aren't already on. If you find the levels low, you can click on the Edit Instrument button and move the Return Gain slider so you can hear more of the external instrument. Press the Record button on the Transport panel and record a piano line for our project. Press the stop button on the transport panel when you are finished. Turn off the record enable and monitor buttons on the piano track so that we don't hear the input anymore and so that you won't accidentally record onto it. Congratulations! You've just recorded your first external MIDI instrument. Move on to the next tutorial as we will be discussing mixing, EQ, effects, automation, and exporting.